Hello, I'm Simon Kennan from Interventional Cardiology Review in the Barts Heart Centre, and I'm here with Nicholas van Meegen from the Erasmus Medical Centre in Rotterdam. Hello, Nicholas, thanks for joining us. Can we talk about Evolute Pro? Sure. First of all, thank you for having me. No problem. Um, so the Evolute Pro is the latest generation uh, core valve system, so to speak. So the core valve has matured over the Evolute R into the Evolute Pro. The Evolute Pro has been launched uh, earlier this year in Europe, and the first uh, clinical results have been presented at the ACC meeting earlier this year mm -hmm. uh, from our uh, American colleagues. It's just still relatively small number, 60 patients, but the results were quite, uh, quite promising. Okay. Could you describe the valve to us, please? Yeah. So it's a self-expanding system, and it has the repositionable and retrievable features from the Evolute R. Mm -hmm. uh, the new feature is a sealing wrap. So there's a sealing wrap around on the outside of the, of the device that extends 13 millimeters, that, a, that has a height of 13 millimeters on the outside of the mm -hmm. valve. Um, it has an increase in profile. So we all were very excited about the Evolute R system because it had a, a, a 14 French profile. Well, this system has become a 16 French profile. Okay. So you lose a little bit of profile, but you add a sealing property. Okay. So going on to the data from the US trial, presumably the mortality was low. Yeah, so the single digits, very low. I think it was uh, 2%, very okay. low. Also stroke rate, very low, 1%. Okay. Pacemaker rate, very low. So it was only 10%. Yeah, which is very low for a self-expanding valve. Yeah. So aortic regurgitation, I guess that's what the skirt's for. Yes. So that was the, that was the, I mean, that was at least my focus. Okay, this, this ceiling wrap, will it make a difference? Well, it turns out that there were no patients with moderate or more PVL. Okay. 70% uh, of the patients had either no or trivial PVL. Okay. So quite strong numbers. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, where do you think you're going to be using the valve? So we have been uh, we have been commercially using the product since uh, the summer. Mm -hmm. So since I think uh, end of July, and ever since it's our preferred self-expanding device. Okay. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you no longer want to have the Evolute R on your shelf because it has the advantage of the smallest profile. Okay. So in principle, when we would select a self-expanding system, we would go for the Evolute Pro unless there are some sizing issues in terms of uh, peripheral sizing. Okay, and what are the cases where you select a self-expanding valve? Um, well, as most centers, we have uh, several devices on our shelf. And for instance, a balloon expandable device is not the best choice if there is a lot of calcium in the left ventricular outflow tract. Okay, fine. So that would be a specific case where we would select a self-expanding valve, especially with superannular valve functioning features. Same is for uh, the valve and valves. In the degenerated bioprosthesis, I think the superannular function has an add-on as yeah. compared to other devices. Uh, on the other hand, if there is a lot of calcium, if it's very heavily calcified in the, in the root, but not in the LVOT, that is where I would uh, uh, probably select a, a balloon expandable system or the Lotus system once it becomes available when again. It comes back, okay. Um, a final thought, the, the skirt around it, does that help to grip the annulus? Does it make it a more stable implantation or does it not have any effect on it? A, it appears to be so, okay. yes. So I have the impression uh, from now uh, a 30 case experience that uh, it is more stable during the deployment. It's, it's moving less during the deployment, but also at the release point, you know, we were all worried and we all experienced that sometimes the valve had a tendency to, to move in or mm -hmm. to, pop up, to pop up a little bit. We haven't seen that so okay. far. So that looks very promising. That's good. Nicholas, thank you very much. My pleasure.